scold as a troll? Will that be part of your saga? If there's a scold dare sing that verse, it will be his last song. returns and not half dead. I thought we had lost you, Eivor, for good this time. A warm welcome as always, Landry. You look like red and shit. What happened? Nothing to crow about, except to say the men who delayed us are dead. And how are you? Well enough, though I have spent many tiresome days calming the rages of our king. He is not happy with you. I expected as much. And what of Sigurd? Has he returned from his raids? My husband should be home today. The last we heard, he was approaching Stavanger. Good to hear. We have need of his courage. Sigurd will not save you from his father's wrath, Eivor. You should know that by now. Did your raid not go as planned? They rarely go as planned. But we killed many of Kyoto's warriors. And there was this. My father's axe among the dead. Ah. Oh. After so many years. You should take it to Gunnar. He will give it back its edge. A good idea. After I see our king. That I do not advise. Not yet. He is meeting with a messenger from the north. I can wait. A cloud hangs over you. Is something wrong? Seeing my father's axe after 17 winters, it stirred something in me. A feeling I've not had since the day he was killed. Since the day I got this. Memories of past agonies. Of sadness and pain. I should speak with Valka. She could help me make sense of my feelings. Take your time getting settled. I will see you at the Longhouse. I think you have lost your edge, Eivor. Just like that axe. Maybe Gunnar can help you with both. I will let you know. I returned with a boat and a full crew. That is worth more than silver. That doesn't count! You need silver! And jewels! Uh. <laughs> Shut up, Rolf! How do you know? You never went on a raid! You shut up! <laughs> Toby! Trading a needle for an arrow, I see. Eivor, can you teach me the art of archery? Well, I would be happy to. See how I'm standing. Plant your feet in the ground, no wider than your shoulders. Breathe in as you draw the arrow back. Look at the point you want to hit. Now imagine the arrow passing straight through it and far beyond. Breathe out. Then release.
Thank you, Eivor. Now, I have something for you. See, si. all in the eye. Thank you, Eivor. As a gift, I could design a new tattoo for you. Something to decorate your scar. A kind offer, but I want this scar visible. Oh, I did not mean to offend. In any case, I do have a tattoo for you. Stretch your wings, Sunan. Looking rough you are. Welcome home. Caught anything? Not today. The fish aren't biting. Too many passing boats churning the water. I lack the patience for pole fishing. I would have better luck with my bow. Shooting fish with a bow? That could work. Hello, Eivor. Welcome. I can fetch this if you want. I have those if you want them. Anything else? I'm off. Be well, friend. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. Hey, Tekla, what is brewing? Alvis tells me this brew is too strong. Think you can handle a few rounds? Ágætlegastar kryddur og litir í borginni hinn miklu. Við öllum að nó sjáð í einu af kryddum að neginn kaupa tólf knað. Sjáð! 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 Sjáð!
I could outstrink every one of you. Don't feel bad. Most of these backgrounds would have pissed themselves off past by now. Is there no one who will go around with me? All right, Tekla. I'll outdrink you. This land will never prosper while clan battles clan. Come and drink! Let us amuse the gods! I have not had the win all day. I do miss the rattling of bone. Sit, sit. The dice won't roll themselves. Let us play. Straight into the point. May the best hand win. That's enough all luck for now. Swain, have you designed any new tattoos? A few worth looking at. Tovi says she is trying out some new tattoos. She is, and she's getting better at it. Let me have a look. Go ahead.
need anything else? See you later, Sven. Sure. It is. Practicing your wordplay, Alvis. Ah, Eivor! <laughs> the only mouth in Midgard from which I fear mockery. You taught me the art of writing poetry, old friend. It is only natural that I surpass you soon. How about another lesson, then? A quick flight. Right here, right now. What do you say? No, not now. Understood. Perhaps later. Can you point me to some good hunting grounds? I could, but I don't want every iron foot with a bow scaring away the game. Bring me three deer antlers to prove your skills, and I might just have a story for you. A worthy challenge. I will see you soon. to keep your blade sharp? Wolf kissed. Welcome back. Gunnar, I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. That should do it. Anything else? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Anything else? That's all for now. Return any time. <laughs> 